Hey guys, George at Soundtracks here, and today we're going to go over a few little details and hints on installing decoders into brass models. Now in front of me here, I have a small little White Pass and Yukon GE shovel nose diesel engine, and we're going to show you a couple of things about how to do the installation to help prevent issues during your installation. So let's get started. Now on this locomotive, there has already been some work done to it. Uh, for example, the wires to the motor have already been removed. Now, when this model was opened up, originally, you have a wire coming in here from the truck, and this one is for the right rail. And then on the other side of the model over here, you have a wire coming up from the truck from the left rail. Now, if you look closely, this is actually going to a small little washer that is tied in under the truck attachment screw. There's a small little spring and then that's then potentially able to conduct power through the chassis. Now one of these is going to be insulated with a fiber washer or some form of, of an insulative gap. But there's a couple of ways we can approach this installation. First of which is we can actually just do something simple and we can desolder this wire off of the washer and wire it directly to the decoder. Now the decoder is going to typically sit right here above the motor or you can actually mount it up in the top of the uh, long hood here uh, inside the she body shell. But we can take this wire and just desolder it off of this washer here and wire it direct and then that way it will bypass the entire chassis. We can do the same thing on the other side. The other option, which is a little more labor intensive but it preserves a little bit more of the original look, is we can actually undo this screw here pull this spring and the washer assembly up and slide a second fiber washer underneath the metal washer. And what that does is while this truck and everything can still move and rotate because there's the spring, it gives you that extra little bit of gap to make sure that you're not transferring power through the chassis. Then we can take our decoder wires and solder them directly to the washer along with the wire from the truck. And that way you can have power protected from the insula or protected from the frame, but also running to where you need to go. And then of course now that we've insulated that, the wires to the motor just simply go to the two terminals here on the back of the motor. Everything else we can wire up just like a normal model where we can install LEDs or light bulbs up inside the chassis and wire it directly to the decoder inside the body shell. Now for more information please check out the installation guide on our website at Soundtracks.com or give us a contact here at support at Soundtracks.com or at extension 22 and we'll be happy to help advise as much as we can.